I mean, I, I'm not one that hates him because I, I, I feel, for me, it's, it's, it's like, okay, if I'm, if me, if I'm struggling to be an actor and be in the, in the, in the way that people want to see me, I'm just Chris Lee. I'm not Tom Cruise. Let's say I'm putting myself in Tom Cruise's shoes. What does it take to be somebody that will, that people will watch? <laughs> And uh, yes, and here's my downsides. I'm only five foot two. <laughs> I am fit as seven. a fiddle. He's yeah. five foot oh, seven. Whatever. <laughs> so, so, I'm, but I'm fit as a fiddle, and yeah. I'm 50 years old, and I'm still looking really good, or whatever. And uh, you know, so I eat everything right, and I do my own stunts, and all that kind of stuff. It's like, is that working? Is that working? And I act my ass off. I will do everything I can to become that part. Uh, even if it means riding ridiculous motorcycles in a way that nobody can, you know, stunt driving, all that kind of stuff. But it's gonna look, you know, it's gonna look like me, blah blah blah. You know, I'm doing everything I can to be amazing. You know, it, it, I mean, a lot of people. I mean, be honest, they're not doing that. Keanu Reeves, Ke- I'm sorry, Keanu Reeves is an exception where he goes above and beyond to become the part that he needs to be. Mm-hmm. He so does. Tom, in my opinion, Tom Cruise is one of those guys that will. B- do his best to become that character. Mm. So the, the thing is, is that people didn't like the the movies where um, the um, the ones where uh, he's the, the agent and Mission all that. Impossible. Mission Impossible. Yeah. So it was like Mission Impossible. They're meant to be ridiculous. They just they, 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 come on. The first they're, one they're, was actually a, really good, though. Realistic. I but, mean, it was yeah. But yeah. but as far as the whole, they are supposed to be kind of borderline. Impossible. Yeah. That's why it's called Mission Impossible. And he's supposed to be that guy that can be do these ridiculous things. So if you can put yourself in the imaginary um, uh, uh, re- realization that that he is this gifted guy that can do all these things, if you can believe that and put you, let yourself be embraced into the imaginary world of this movie, then it's like, yeah, and uh, maybe maybe a guy like Tom Cruise. Who is this character can do these things, but a lot of people can't put themselves in that position. They're just like, nope, it's too stupid. Nobody can do that, and he thinks he can. And so, therefore, I hate Tom Cruise. So some some people are like that. Yeah. I, on the other hand, I let myself be in that imaginary wor- world, and I'm also thinking of, of as a person. He's trying to be an actor, trying to to put himself into these places where um, uh, to, to to try to be a great actor and still and still be in the box office hits. Over and over and over, and, and 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 he hits and misses, of course. But do I do I respect him? Yes, me, I'm a, I respect. Is he one of my favorites? Do I think about him every day? <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. But as far as people saying, I don't like Tom Cruise for these reasons. It's like, well, I don't like him. I don't not like him for the same reasons as you. I kind of like him because he. I think he's I, he's earned my respect. Is he a great actor? Sometimes, sometimes it's like I don't know. But yeah, but yeah. I, I've always so, enjoyed him. So some of the I'm on this website right now called Wiz, whatever, and it's reasons why people hate and love Tom Cruise. Mm. I'm not going to worry about the love ones. I mean, <laughs> whatever. People love him, they love him. Yeah. But why do people hate him? One of the reasons was because he was so into Scientology, which is okay. So he's really into it. I remember that. I didn't some care. people, yeah, yeah. Well, for people like you and me, yeah, we yeah. don't care. We really don't care. You know, whatever. He's into it. I, I do hate it when people. Preach like overly preach me. Sure, and it's like you know I can understand your point of view. I really do. I respect it, but that's enough, man. You, More, you're done. You said most, your words. Most, mostly, I just say you're wrong, and so therefore you should shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no. I say do, believe, do what you want to do. <laughs> just don't expect me to jump off the cliff with you. Yeah, exactly. Um, people hate that he seems to be dishonest about his personal life. Who gives a flying mm-hmm. fuck? Right. So these are people that, that 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 they seem to really want to want to love him yeah. and can't find a and reason they, why yeah. because of those things. And there's some people that just, they, they need to find reasons to hate him. Yeah. So, okay, what's the next one? Because I, I, I honestly, I think that the Scientology one is the big one. That's the one thing I would think, I would think so, hate. yeah, yeah. But but, uh, but that didn't that didn't touch one of my buttons. It didn't me either. Yeah. yeah I just, uh, people hate that he often makes uh, uh, strange, strange movie, movie choices. choices. <clears throat> yeah, really? I, I mean, guess. I haven't really seen a movie that he's been in that's been strange. Um, I can. I think. I think people were talking about like War of the Worlds, and that was I, a good movie. I like that movie. I, I liked it. To me, it wasn't. It, to me, it wasn't because it was a quote-unquote Tom Cruise movie. 
Um, but what 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 made me want to watch the movie is like I've already seen the War Over the Worlds, and it was uh, you know whatever how old it was. But to me, it was it wasn't because it was a Tom Cruise movie. It was because it was a new movie of of War of the Worlds, and it happened to be somebody that I'm familiar with. That's why I watched it. Mm-hmm. It wasn't because I'm a fan yeah. of Tom Cruise. But I figured because of the caliber, I, this is, might be a misconception. But to me, if a movie is out and uh, certain actors are well known, like um, Matthew McConaughey or something like that, if those are the guys that are in the movie, it raises my alert level to where like this is probably a movie worth watching because this guy probably cost the company millions of dollars to be in it. You know, because he's going to say my salary is going to be this if I'm going to be if I'm going to be the guy in it. So it's yeah. like all right, so 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 that puts the the level of the of the movie to a caliber that I sh- that's probably mm-hmm. watchable. Well, I know I know a lot of people like you said Matthew McConaughey. I know a lot of people don't like him because of his incidents that he's been in. Uh-huh. You know, everybody has their incidents. <clears throat> they get pulled over for drinking. They get they get in trouble because they made they made racial slurs about somebody and, and so everybody has their their moments of when stuff happened like Matthew yeah. McConaughey and his encounters with the police officers, but mm-hmm. Bathroom McConaughey is an excellent actor, mm-hmm. and I've I've enjoyed a or, lot of his or, movies. Or, There's a few movies I really didn't care for him, in, but a there's a lot time, of movies a long time I ago, really enjoyed. A long time ago, there was Nicolas Cage. If Nicolas Cage was in a movie, I'd watch it. Mm-hmm. So so when yeah. when 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 um, Tom Cruise was in the the War of the Worlds, it's like I'm gonna watch it because you know it's Tom Cruise. And it's like yeah. that, that, that must be, I don't I mean it's not like I need to watch everything that Tom Cruise is in. Yeah, I could care fucking less. But the thing is, is that he's a as a uh, he's a, his caliber at the time was like this means that the movie is worth something. I'm gonna give it a watch, and yeah. I enjoy the movie. I think for me, World of Worlds. I, uh, well, I like space. Anything yeah. that has to do with space and aliens, sci-fi, sci-fi, I, am, yeah. I am totally into it. Yeah. So and to, to me, because Tom Cruise was in it, it put it at a little, this is probably watchable. <laughs> yeah. Um, another reason they say is because he's so insecure about his height. They they don't like him because of that. Yeah, they don't like it because oh. of the fact that he's so insecure about his life. Um, I remember hearing, I don't know if it's true or not. I don't know how I was insecure stuff. he is. I know that well, they made a, they, I know that they made accommodations for him because he is slightly small. Well, but well, I don't know look, if at, he's look at well, look at Lester it. Stallone. He's short. He too. is. Yeah, he. Um, yeah, it may be the same height as him, but you know, in his roles, yeah, they they made it to where his character is taller than the other yeah, characters. The, the, and, 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 and when they would shoot him, they would he they would put stand him on a box. They would, dig, on a box. they would dig ditches right. and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but the fact is, is yeah, I'm insecure about a lot of things about me. But is that anybody else's business? No. Yeah. So that's so, not a, so that's not a good to, reason either for yeah, people. So when it comes to, like to making a movie, it's like, hey, you got to do what you got to do. If the, if the yeah, character five foot six, yeah. You know, if I'm only five foot six, it's like, man, my, my character. Does, I mean, I'm supposed to be badass. It's like usually you think of a badass as a, is at least oh, six foot. People love him for doing his own stunts. Yeah, that's a that's another thing too. Is yeah. he does do his own stunts. It shows him here a picture of him standing on or sitting on top of a freaking. Skyscraper. skyscraper building. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. and he's just. And chilling I know. I know that he was hanging on the side of a of an yeah. airplane for while it was taking off and doing yeah. a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, he was harnessed. And oh, stuff, but people the, hate him for his over the top Oprah interview. I never saw that. I, I never saw it. So I, I heard about, about it, it, but I never saw it. It yeah. was. I I've, I've seen like a uh, couple chunks of it. Parodies about yeah. it. Oh yeah, I've seen parodies about it. Yeah. But then, well, in, in any parody, when they try to make fun of something, they well, go over and they above did and go beyond. over. But, but I think they showed him punching Oprah too. In there. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I didn't. The parody, yeah, they did. But, uh, they, maybe jumping on her too. Huh? I'm so freaking happy. Uh, well, no, like they but, were. Um, they were. Yeah, and they showed. I mean, yeah, the, the yeah. parody. They showed. I him mean, biting her and doing honestly, a whole bunch of other yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. But honestly, he was he was he was happy. Yeah. Well, for one thing, he was you know going out with Katie Holmes, who yeah. wouldn't be happy about that. Sure. And he was he was finally getting his life back on track, and he was happy. So for me, did he um, overdo it? Maybe. I mean, he jumped on a couch. So, so it sounds like for me and you, it's 